This is for the nerds, this is for the brainiacs, this is what we deserve. Go ahead and play it back, you ain't gonna touch me, you not gonna do nothing, you are not above me, I bet you wish you was me, I know it, I know it. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Only Friends podcast. I think it's becoming very clear that you two are my only friends <laughs> remaining of the group. Yeah. Everybody's fucking weak, man. I know. They're pussies. Weak. God, they're so weak. Killed everyone off. Brian couldn't come today because he's not allowed to go to the birthday party on Saturday. No birthday party for Mr. Brian. No birthday party if you go <laughs> hang around the sick people. <laughs> We're barely sick. Conrad is super spreading. Well, <laughs> the, f- the, the funny part is that, uh, you know, the whole reason COVID was so dangerous is because it, you're contagious when you're asymptomatic. Yeah. Conrad's dead. Yeah. He's no longer contagious. Right. He is just a cesspool of death yeah. in his room. Well, so, in the kitchen, right. packing all over the place. So the concerns of like Brian now being a super spreader aren't invalidated. Right. Brian he's, could be super spreading as he's we speak. He's just as contagious now as he ever would. Like being around us now. Did he test now, himself? No. But it wouldn't matter because he's, if he's asymptomatic, he's probably not going to show. Oh. The whole point is it's, it's a... It's a, it's a recipe of mental gymnastics to be precautionary after the fact and yeah. uh well basically, that's, that's basically good he's to a know. pussy that's good to he's know. a pussy jen's a pussy yes jim was around us the whole time while conrad was getting sick if if he were gonna get sick whatever everybody's a pussy that's abundantly clear if you, you two are troopers from- yeah you're here for the cause land yeah. is here for the content if you die from a sickness you're weak that's right <laughs> Get in the gym. Oh. Tell that to the people from the Black Plague. Yeah. I feel like every time there's a three-person podcast, I'm just the one that gets bullied. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're not We're not DePaulo and Conrad. Yeah. No, you're just uh, the devil in a different form. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, How sir? How dare thee? By anyway. the way, not exactly great <laughs> etiquette to be fucking eating nuts on air. Just I'm, just on nuts I'm just saying. Crunching on nuts. I'm just saying. You gotta drink. Not it's everybody's not here. It's not the same as crunching on nuts, not man. Crunching. You can't not hear. everyone's here to listen to you chew. Chomping on big bag of almonds. You can't hear me chew. No? Yeah. No, the mic doesn't pick it up? It. That's guapo if he can hear you chew. I know. I, I, I thought you could Chewing directly into the microphone. <laughs> not just any nuts either. Ba- like, look at this big bag of almonds. Yeah, it's just like almonds, the hardest nut known to man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could hear it. If, you didn't, if I knew you couldn't hear it. If I knew you could hear it, I wouldn't have done it. I got to tell you, this is, this is going to go great <laughs> in selling you on the Tinder market. <laughs> Loves his nuts. <laughs> Loves nuts. Uh, before we get to the guys. meat of today's yeah, conversation, uh, I want to remind everybody that Matt Hunt has a new course out on solve for y TV. It's on MTT Exploits. I believe we have a brief advertisement, perhaps, uh, if, if Guapo has that loaded for us. Uh, This one's focused on pre-flop play. Let's go ahead and cut to that. Even as recently as 2018, exploitative pre-flop play was something about which we could mostly only theorize. Tools now exist which allow us to plug in our own variables and solve abstracted versions of pre-flop game trees. We're going to focus our strategy development on playing against the most common tendencies that exist in the overall MTT player pool. How often should we be folding? which hands might shift from shoving to limping. We're gonna start the course by looking at some of the simplest spots and then build outwards from there. Beginning in this video with blind versus blind scenarios from both players' perspectives. Poker instruction from our British friend, Matt Hunt. (laughs) Head over to solveforwide.io. Part one and two of that course are out. Part three through five will be out tomorrow, I believe. Uh, so be sure to check that out. There's hundreds of courses available at Solve for YTV. So, uh, you know, we'd appreciate you heading over there. You can sign up for a two-week free trial. No charge. Cancel any time. Give us a little feedback. Let us know what you think. Let's get into the shits. Yeah, we Chin got a say. good show. <laughs> <laughs> you are way too excited for this one. 
I think it will be good. When did you sign up for Tinder first? Um, I was 18 when well, it came wow. out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I didn't actually go on a date with anyone from Tinder until I was 20. You just kind of used it for fun, sort of? I was just really. checking it out because it was brand new. Yeah. But I just sort of like went on it once and then didn't look at it. And then I w I've been on only two Tinder dates lifetime. Ever? Yeah. Want to talk wow. about it? Yeah, I can talk about it. Give you a little prep for maybe you will have some dates Oh, I'm going to spare him. I have so many fucking stories. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be spared. So, I want to listen. <laughs> the first one was a guy who was in the army. Bad start, bad start. Big, big guy, Italian, mm, Italian. Cloudy. Yeah, he was hot. Um, but I was like drinking back then, so I was a little crazy. So you blew him in a bathroom? I no, <laughs> no. I actually didn't have sex with him for like six months. I was like trying to be like I don't know. I was I just like was trying to mm. do that because mm -hmm. I thought it was like what you're supposed. So you to were do. a hot mess and you withheld sex uh -huh. as a byproduct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a great recipe. Yeah, and then um. I don't know. I think I scared him away. I think I went a little psycho. So your on him. first Tinder date ever, you managed a six month relationship. No out longer of. than that, because he went on deployment, sure. and we were talking that whole time. So wow. it was like two years that we were talking. Wow. Yeah. Um. And then like he got married after that. Hmm. I was just. You know, I've I have a nice track record of girls that I date then immediately yeah. getting married and or having kids after. Yeah, I don't blame him though, because I was really crazy. Like I sent him this. <laughs> Like I sent him this whole long text after he told me he like didn't want to see me anymore because I kind of like ghosted him while he was in Iraq. I was like really bad. And then um, I just sent this really long text like that couldn't possibly be it. Like made all this, you know, right. all these mental gymnastics of why it wasn't my fault. And then, uh, yeah, and then he got married after that. And I think he has a family now and stuff. Happy. Yeah. And then the second one was a homeless guy. Legit homeless. Yeah. Yeah, but not like a hobo. He just didn't have a home. So he didn't travel. He just... No, he was like... He was stationary. <laughs> he was like, I'm staying on my friend's couch. Mm. And then I was like, do you want to stay over? <laughs> so... Real fixer These were are. both when I was like still drinking. I was not in my right mind. And uh, yeah, he stayed over. It was like really bad sex. And then like the next day... Oh, homeless guy doesn't know how to fuck. Shocking. <laughs> He was just like really feminine. Sorry, Owen, if you're watching this. Um, <laughs> I don't think he would. Uh, yeah, he asked my friend out after that, but I, he was. She wasn't into the vagabonds? No, no, yeah. she was gay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Good read, Owen. Good read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, oh, uh, I was like brushing my teeth the next day because I had to go help my friend move. And he's like hanging on behind me, like, is it time? And I was like, yes, man. Like, <laughs> you gotta go. Like, you oh, cannot stay here. He's probably a little concerned. He doesn't have anywhere to be. <laughs> yeah. He he was telling me all these schemes he had for Airbnbs and breeding hairless <laughs> cats and like all oh, this so weird. Wow. Yeah. And then the entire time that we were like talk like on the date, he was taking his hair and then like he had this long curly hair and he's taking it and like wrapping it around his nose like in a loop <laughs> it's so distracting remarkable yeah. that you're single yeah. it's just... <laughs> these are what i was drinking though it's, I'm, right, I'm normal yeah. now yeah yeah no I mean, <laughs> i'm normal now just remarkable those um, are the only two i have i yeah. i have a few online dating stories uh i'll i'll quickly go through the timeline so when i was in college hot or not was like one of the most booming websites uh -huh. around. That was like pre Facebook, right? Yeah. Uh, That's pre, like what Facebook? Like right around the same time. Didn't that turn into Facebook? I don't think so. Oh. Uh, but that was the original idea, okay. according to the movie Social Network, anyway, was yeah. that he created the Facebook based on a ranking system of the females on campus. Right. And then it turned into what it turned into. Right. <clears throat> Hot or Not um, was a precursor to that and continued forward post. Uh, Facebook as a dating site. Mm -hmm. So initially, it was literally just people would upload their pictures and you would rate them one to 10. Mm -hmm. And then they would get an average score and they would be deemed hot or not. Um, uh, brutal. It was honestly, it was a lot of fun. We used to spend 
so I was comp sci major, so I was always in front of a computer. If I wasn't playing online poker, uh, like my friends and I were just like on hot or not. Uh huh. And I remember a summer that. Uh, so was there a ranking list? There, there was like the the, the hottest. The um, <laughs> so it was similar to how social media works now, yeah. where the most popular profiles, the ones that we get like hundreds of thousands of hits, would be in like the top ten or top one hundred or whatever. Right. Uh, so eventually, you there was a meet me button that you could also click as you're ranking so these people. So it was kind of like a dating site. It turned was into Was it one. only women or was it men and women? No, it was men and women. Okay. So it turned into a dating site. Uh-huh. And you could click meet me and send the person a message. So my first ever online date was a girl who was going to pit when I was in Gannon. Mm-hmm. So I think I was a senior. Uh, about two hours apart. We met on, on Hot or Not. Uh, chatted a little bit. I went down to pit to pick her up. Took her out to a Dave and Buster's. Mm-hmm. Had a really good time. Uh, she looked like her picture. Like, all things considered, being that it was 2003 or 2004, whatever, <clears> like, <throat> pretty great experience. Yeah, I mean, I think people weren't really catfishing wise, widespread back then, Yeah, right? probably didn't catch on yet. Yeah. Well, I have a story with that, too. Uh, I have a couple, actually. So, the the date went incredibly well. Uh, and I had I'd been playing poker at this point for, like, a year Wait, and a half. how old so were you? Uh, like 22. Okay. Um, so we're leaving Dave and Buster's and I get shaken down by this homeless guy. Uh, maybe it like, was the one I went on a date Maybe. With. Uh, it was like in a way <laughs> that like is going to get me every time, at least 22 year old me, maybe yeah. a little bit less so now, but definitely 22 year old me. Like I was just always bleeding heart for these types of people. Uh, they just, I guess to some degree, like reminded me of my mother. Mm-hmm. So this guy like comes up to me and gives me this bullshit story. That's so fake. Like, yeah. Hey bro, uh, I'm trying to get to the next town over, but like I lost my wallet yeah. and I don't have any bus fare, you know, can you help me out? Whatever. So all I had was a 20 mm. and I just gave it to him. And like, she was so impressed by this and blown away. I'm like, okay, well at least I got some, you it's know, almost like you paid this guy. Yeah. For this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He showed up, he paid right. him to show up. I have a story yeah. about that too. <laughs> Uh, so the date goes incredibly well, but this is legitimately like the first time I've ever been on a date with a stranger in my life. Like every date in college was somebody that I had class with yeah. or whatever. So towards the end of the night, uh, I'm like walking her home, walk up to her door and I just like free, I, I get like the worst stage fright I've ever had. So it's obviously nervous? time to like kiss to, her, like, kiss her. Good night. Yeah. And we like go in awkwardly oh, no. at different angles Uh-oh. and like butt heads oh no you, you know what i mean like you yeah, know how like if you I've just don't it. like you don't know necessarily which way the yeah. person's gonna go and i wasn't to laugh it off i wasn't smooth back then it wasn't like as if i was like casually going in like yeah. grabbing her cheek you, or, you and directing it in. i just like oh, darted no. in you know what i mean it's just like boom <laughs> <laughs> it was just like we're done here yeah no kiss you, you didn't laugh it off or anything you could no. laugh that off she i mean she was done. she wasn't having it and i was just like in no yikes. position to, to scramble that and recover. Yikes. You gave her a concussion. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so her, just, her nose is just bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if you're listening, there's hope. So I like kept messaging her after that. Uh-huh. Got, that was my first time getting ghosted. Wow. I was like, okay, oh, I see no. how this works. That's fine. Damn, Were you being awkward you- up until that point? Like, um, no, no, the date went incredibly oh, well. So it was really like, just that, that that was it for her. If that exact I mean, date had happened 10 years later, yeah. uh, I would have, probably been able to seal close. whatever deal i close. wrote yeah, yeah. Um, but like then i was so sweet and innocent yeah. and like Damn. going in for giving a kiss money, was scary giving 20 bucks to a homeless guy yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Well, like going in for a kiss this was does scary sound like something i would do when it comes to the homeless guy and just giving him all that the money honestly that does sound like it, that could be a i'm surprised he didn't shake me down for more like yeah clearly he could have gotten whatever that literally he wanted like could be a story that you could tell that's why i don't like going out in public <laughs> i could get stopped <laughs> I, it, it really changed, not that exact moment, but like it changed my stance on uh, what to do in those situations a lot as I grew, grew older. Yeah. Just in the sense so that like- what wisdom can you share with the young prince? Wait, what? What wisdom can you share? Well, it's it's nothing like, it's, it's more so that like as much as my heart breaks when I see somebody like working the corner or whatever. Oh, you mean for homeless people? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't think that you're helping the problem at all. No. Like to me, solving problems happens at scale. So yeah. like giving somebody $20- I, I know just like only aids and abeds. Yeah. So like, I'm just not into it. It's a lot easier for me to say no. I think that I was like that before I lived in a city 
then like once I lived in the city and just saw it all the yeah. time, yeah, it was yeah. just like, like there was this one guy who was at my subway stop who I would like give money to every time I got off the subway, but then he started like expecting it and right. it got like weird. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, like I don't have anything today. Cause he would like, like, just kinda, like, yeah, like you a little. He, yeah. And I was like, okay, like, I don't fuck know. You guys. Like, this is kind of weird. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? You don't got $5. Yeah. Like he was waiting for me. And uh, yeah. so. one day I was driving to the gym here. This is probably like eight years ago or so. And it was freezing, like snow flurries in the air, middle of winter. And I saw this homeless guy at the corner of the light. And he's like in, you know, a t-shirt and sweatpants or whatever. Just like looks awful, definitely cold. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was like a six lane highway. It was, it was on Decatur Boulevard. And I'm at this light and I see him. I don't have any money, nor do I have any intention to give me one, but I have a hoodie in the back. Yeah. Of my, so I like throw it, throw it at him. And, you know, he comes rushing up to it, like thinking there's probably going to be more than a hoodie there oh, or whatever, no. picks it up. And as I'm driving away, I can just hear him go, fuck you! I, that <laughs> happened when I tried to give food to a homeless person once because they were asking, they're like, I'm so hungry, I need money for food. I was like, I have food. Yeah. I don't have like change I can give you. And they like got mad at me. Yeah. Like, okay, well. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, But whatever. sometimes it's, they're it's even grateful ecosystem. just to like talk like be noticed yeah, and acknowledged yeah yeah. yeah no obviously every instance incident isn't the same uh and everybody's different but it definitely was just like okay well i'm not gonna try quite as hard anymore yeah yeah you get disillusioned um so i didn't online date after that experience uh for a while but right before i moved scarred. to vegas it wasn't that it was it was very different then yeah Right, like, well, there wasn't really dating apps, right? Right, it was literally like Hot or Not and maybe Match had started at that point. Mm. But like, it was My a pretty big barrier of entry. Yeah. Um, eHarmony. Yeah, I never got on that. Oh. Too, too prudy. She was on Plenty of Fish. POF. Is that good? Uh, no, no, it's yeah, such the, a trash site. Yeah, <laughs> but the guys she would bring home were not. Yeah. Yeah. I remember these things like when I was in middle school. I just remember the ads for them from like mm. TV and commercials yeah. and stuff. I was never. I always just figured it was for old people because my mom was using them. I'll, I'll go through. I'll go through a, 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 a few timeline. stories really quickly. So right before I moved to Vegas in '08, um, I I was like fucking around on apps again. It was on Hot or Not again. I matched with this Italian girl who's just like a dime. Italian stallion. Oh, she's like five foot two. You know, beautiful, gorgeous. Right. So we start talking. And we exchange numbers rather quickly. She's again, she's in Pittsburgh. Hold on, did she have olive skin? I mean, very olive. Yeah, Italian, uh, obviously. Right. She yeah. was she was very Jersey looking. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't mind a Jersey Italian. Yeah, her last name was Diorio. Yeah. So we start chatting or whatever, and like this goes on for a few days, and then like it, it turns into like sexting, and like it's it's very especially at that age where I was like I think twenty four, twenty five, something like that. Uh, there was a level of intimacy to it that as an adult now, like a full grown adult, yeah. I wouldn't experience. Um, I really sexed. So I was like super into it, right? Yeah. And this probably happened like maybe, I don't know, four or five months before I moved to Vegas. So over that four or five month span, I went to Pittsburgh a lot because I was playing in the underground games there and I would continually try to meet up and she mm -hmm. would constantly like put it off uh -oh. for or one reason or another, yada, yada, yada. And then as I was getting ready to move to Vegas, she came down with cancer, right? In hindsight, like I know where this goes, uh -huh. but back then catfishing wasn't a thing. Right. So yet, uh, <laughs> so like her social media was like all over the place. She would constantly like delete her Facebook and then reinitiate it. And like I was constantly meeting her friends virtually, but never like actually meeting them yes. or speaking so to them. This was they, a group of like like men they would text somewhere. me. They would text me, but I never spoke with them on the phone. Uh -huh. All this stuff, right? Uh, so this Wait, carried how long were you like talking to this girl? Like this three point? or four months. Oh, okay. Jesus. So as I moved to Vegas, I finally just like called her out on everything. And I was like, look, I don't believe you. Like, I think like all this stuff is a lie. Uh, there was just like a whole history of things saying like her mom had died and like yada, yada, yada. Uh, so I like moved to Vegas, basically cut ties. And every like couple of months we would reinitiate. Uh huh. And I still had like this burning sense of curiosity where I had convinced myself it's a free roll to try yeah. to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. So I would continue to like reinitiate and then like get sucked back in and then like call her out again and would, would cut ties and her social media would get deleted and all this other uh -huh. stuff, right? So that goes on for like uh, off and on for maybe a year or so. <laughs> not, uh, Did you have feelings not, for her at any point? No, uh, before, before I initially called her out, yes. Okay. But like once I realized it was this 
Then I don't want to call it a scam. Sleuth. Yeah. 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 So like when I say it went off, off and on for a year, I mean like I was literally trying to get to the bottom of it. Okay. Type of stuff. So maybe like five years later, mm-hmm. might even be longer than that, six or seven. Uh, I randomly get an email and it's this girl and she's like asking how I am and like basically says like, I owe you the truth. I want to tell you everything. And this is long after the movie Catfish had come out, uh-huh. which is now a show on MTV. Right. Uh, which I basically was just like, you know, this is definitely you. <laughs> like you belong in the show kind of thing. <laughs> so she sends me an email. She tells me that the profile that she was using was actually her cousin. So like she did exist. It okay. just wasn't her. Um, and then she like tells me all of like what she had gone through. So uh, she was basically saying that like she was she was obese and like was struggling with life and like wanted to kill herself and all this other stuff. And then she met me and uh, she was like finding hope through this catfished relationship and yeah. everything else. So she sends me before and after and she had lost like 150 pounds. What? It was incredible. Like uh, it was it was a nice feel good end to yeah. it all. Um, and, you know, we kind of just like, we, we still never met, but we kind of just like exchanged back and forth a little bit. It was like, you know, good for you. I'm happy for you, yada, yada, yada. Um, but like she had a kid and like all this stuff. Uh-huh. Basically, she, like uh, one of the lies was that she was raising her adopted brother. Okay. Uh, because was, her mom had died. Yeah. But it was actually her kid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, so there was just like a whole bunch of stuff. But um, I had to be like, I had to be like one of the first million people to be catfished. Probably. Because uh, it was very early. It was probably started like oh six yeah that seems to be common with like catfish when i watch the show that's sort of like yeah what their sentiment is kind of sad it's like a sad thing because they like just they get something from the connection but they don't like feel good about themselves right right. and they're also doing it at scale usually yeah usually you're not the only person yeah it's always at scale man at least it wasn't like a tinder swindler like she was just trying to like fleece you i think back then it would have been kind of impossible Online payments weren't really uh, a thing. Yeah, I guess you're right. Like, Is she PayPal emotionally barely... fleecing, though? Huh? She might be emotionally fleecing. Yeah, maybe to some degree. I, I'm sure that, like, I both emotionally grew from that, but also was, like, probably temporarily stunted. Yeah, well, because you're focused on trying to <laughs> sleuth. <laughs> you became well, detective. Yeah, I mean, like, the last few months, you know, whatever. Like, the last few months I spent in Erie, it's like, it was winter in Erie. I wasn't going to be dating anyway. Yeah. And then my first six months in Vegas, this place was such a culture shock to me. Like... I was drawing dead yeah. to meet anybody out here. It's hard. Ve- dating in Vegas is hard. I think it's honestly one of the most antisocial big cities I've ever lived in. Hmm. Because there are so many little, I don't want to call them cliques, but like sub-communities. Yeah. Where it's like either you're in the industry or you're not. And it immediately divides there. Yeah. And then if you are in the industry, now it's a matter of like which little subgroup do you which belong to of the industry are you in yeah and it's like we're in the most a most male dominated one but also b probably the one that like the other uh the other industry ites are like taking the most advantage of yeah right so yeah. it's like you just end up meeting a bunch of waitresses and masseuses and strippers right and, you know that makes sense yeah bottle girls whatever like it's kind of uh it, it's very transient so to me when i say it's antisocial, i mean like it's fast like nobody's looking mm-hmm. to actually build substantial relationships right? yeah. it's kind of like on to the next type yeah. of mentality it is very like that i haven't done much dating here as you guys know <laughs> <laughs> it's... really good lead up into what we're getting into huh yes yeah. Yeah, you're in for a treat buddy mm. you're in for an absolute treat you should see how happy he is right now <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the last quick story I'll tell when uh, my roommates and I first got onto online dating out here. So it was like when I was living with Dan O'Brien and a bunch of those guys, we used to like play insurance policy for each other, if you will. Okay. So You're like we, off we would literally like vet matches for one another. To make sure that like we weren't getting catfished, we weren't getting duped. That's kind of what I do with you guys. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You do what now? And then we would like send addresses to each other. Mm-hmm. Like if we were going out on a date or, or like whatever, it's yeah. like okay, look, like I'm meeting this girl here at this public place. If I end up going back to her house, it's this address. Yeah. Uh, look for wow, my remains. I didn't know guys did that too. Girls yeah. do that. I mean, it's it's a shady landscape. Less so now. I think the stigma's kind of gone yeah i guess it was there was i forget that there was actually like a stigma around online dating like it was like unsafe. oh god yeah even like ordering stuff online used to be like stigmatized yeah like don't give your address online yeah yeah, yeah for sure yeah one yeah 
<laughs> I, got, I got a bad order, you know? I, I just wanted my pistachios and I got a heavy cream from mm. DoorDash. They, they messed up, but they made it what right. What does that have to do with anything? Just give me my address online. I, oh, okay. I wanted what I ordered. I didn't get what I ordered. They you got catfish. Online, I got catfish. I got DoorDash fished. Yeah. Anyways. All right. All right. So anyways. <laughs> That's a good uh, aside. <laughs> with all these horror stories, I, I haven't even scratched the surface. There yeah. So my brother has some stories. good horror stories too. Just. It's, I, I think it's, I, I feel like men, uh, maybe in, maybe it's a Vegas thing or maybe it's just across the board, but I think. I hear a lot more horror stories from men than women. It's because it's because we're so susceptible to the red flags. Mm. If a guy sent you a dick pic right away, you would be turned off yeah. and you would just be like red flag this like, guy's report. out. If a girl says like sends a text is like I'm horny. <laughs> we're just like I'm cool. horny, please visit this website <laughs> to send payment. Yeah. You're like, "Yeah, I'm in." <laughs> well, no, like we're not duped that much, but it's like if you start <laughs> you, people, <laughs> you think how, how dumb do you think we are? Bro? So, wow. I don't Jesus man. Christ. So like if you start talking with somebody that you already find to be super attractive and they immediately turn the conversation sexual, yeah. we don't think like, oh, that's a super red flag. We just think, we got a modern woman on our right. hands, ladies and gentlemen. Oh Look at this independent woman. Yeah. Meanwhile, it's like some Pakistani man. And, yeah. yeah. It's always always some Pakistani yeah. man <laughs> asking you to send Target gift cards. Yes. Please go to Target gift yeah. cards we only. need $3,000 worth of Target gift cards yeah. mailed to this address. And team viewer, your computer with mine. <laughs> So, Landa, we want to get you in the streets. <laughs> After all that, aren't you excited to get in the, the online dating streets? No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> there, are, there are kind, wholesome... I'm actually interested to see the pool of women. Oh, you are in for a Because I only treat. see the male pool well, and gay girls. You are in for such a treat. By the way, lesbian uh, online dating beautiful what a what a pool you girls yeah. have to choose from yeah they're really cool you have the cream of the crop mm -hmm. the best women and in usually, vegas like, are for sure being, gay. Like, just like friends with them like not friends like we don't hang out but it's like we'll just have like conversations like friends i don't know how to flirt with girls like i don't know how to flirt period yeah, i was gonna say like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i don't know how to flirt period but like especially with women i'm just like just change the eggplant to a peach <laughs> this feels weird. Peach, I don't think I, maybe I'm just question. like not gay. I don't know. Like it sure. feels weird to do that. Yeah, I feel like if you're unsure, you're probably Yeah, I just talk to them like, I love your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. And they're like, same. Where'd you get those? You know, yeah. whatever. And then it's just, <laughs> that's just, it. Just hang out. Some, <laughs> some conversations. Yeah. We'll play yeah. video games. Yeah, sure. It's like, <laughs> do you like movies? <laughs> <laughs> now you know what it's like being a guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. The streets are tough. Small talk tough. is the fucking worst. <sighs> it's hard. Yeah. It seems so unnecessary too. Like there's Small no talk? value. Yeah, there's no What's the value? Comfort. Yeah. But it's not comforting. I, it's building rapport. It's not comforting for you. Because it starts off as small talk. You're building like rapport with yeah. the person. Yeah. And then like. You don't want to get... send somebody into a job interview. Yeah. Like you can't. I mean, I used to be like, I would immediately just like dump all of my drama and everything. So here's what happened to me when I was this age and this age, just so we get this out of the way. And then I realized like, that's not normal behavior right. to do that. Right. So. Mm. Knowing your life story after date one. Yeah, probably. yeah. Like, that's not normal. And they shouldn't be doing that to me either. Like, we shouldn't be trauma bonding on the first day. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's not, that's, every time that's happened, it's not led to a good scenario. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I don't do that anymore. I think some of the best, like, first Learning. dates. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think some of, like, the best first date conversations that I've had, like, teeter on those uh, lines of vulnerability without actually like divulging your, your life story. Um, and it usually it does stem from small talk, like things like, which when I'm, I'm about to say this, it just sounds so awful and boring and like okay. something I'm not even interested in. Yeah. But the conversation that stems from it actually is pretty great. But like a girl who takes interest in like what you read, okay. like you would think that that would be such a miserable conversation. Like I don't even think of books as like, oh yeah, like I'm, so well read and i have this curated Not list anyone. type of stuff yeah but like when you get into it it's like oh yeah we've both read that like we can talk about that a little bit and it like it leads you down certain pathways yeah because you, you're relating to the book in different ways and you yeah. share that you're using yeah. that kind of as the filter same with for, like movies and stuff yeah yeah i think that's true um so, i'm like probably even less, of, and less of a movie buff. i think in yeah. like normal conversations it's called like threading where it's like you find something in common and then you yeah. use that to like go somewhere else yeah but the problem is off of small talk usually that threading is 
about as shallow as you can humanly get. Yeah. Which is why small talk is the absolute fucking worst. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're from the Northwest? Cool. Rain's there, huh? Yeah. Yep. Rain where <laughs> I I'm like from, rain. too. Yeah, I like rain. Uh-huh. Oh what do you think God. about the rain? <laughs> yep. I'm not a fan either. Yeah. That's why I moved I to the desert. Rain. There's no it's fucking rain so here. so annoying. <laughs> but like, thunderstorms. <laughs> thunderstorms, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, have you ever seen a UFO? <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? You and Chewie would hit it off. Yeah. yeah. Depends who you ask. Some we people did. would be like, yeah. We did hit it off. Yeah. Yeah. Who, well, everybody hits it yeah. off Chewie. Yeah, it's hard That's, not to. Right. He's very nice. I'd swipe right. Yeah. Speaking of swiping right, let's get your profile set up here, Mr. Tice. We, uh, you act like I have a say in any of this. We, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can, you you can do. upvote, downvote some things. Can you read so. that? I, I went up earlier and read it close up, and I, there were a couple that stuck out to me. The uh, manga... I don't, well, let's, I don't let's, need, let's start, let's see, start like, top to bottom where, bully, you, where do you bullying. stand on hot yoga Landon I don't do that okay but home workout we're gonna click that yeah, one yeah definitely home workout <laughs> manga uh, manga, yeah. manga. Why, why do you uh, keep doing this to me? Because I thought we were because friends. Because in the subway, there used to be this lady who this would sell mangoes. Nothing to do with me. That, that would sell mangoes, and she would go mango, mango. <laughs> this has nothing to do with me, by the way. Yeah, nothing to do with me. It reminds me of the waiter in uh, Florida. The, the uh, soda water, s- yeah, yeah. banana, banana. <laughs> soda coffee water, banana. Mango, yeah, mango. That, that guy. guy's a legend. All right, so we're going to click home workout. We're going to click Instagram. You're a big fan. Uh, you know, social media guy, Jim, for I am a sure. social media guy. This is all like the same shit, Jim and social media. Yeah, I they mean. keep using different words poker? for the same thing. No poker. Games, chess. You There's like definitely chess? memes. I used to play chess. Uh, I don't play chess much. We'll for sure click on memes when we get there. <laughs> memes is a good he one. He claims he's a sports guy. I don't fucking believe it. No. Uh, you tell me if you want to click that as you an You want to have sports in there? I feel like, you know what it is? Sports might be a trap, you know? Because women don't like talking about sports very much, as we've learned from you. Yeah, the the minority likes talking about sports. Yeah, but they all love athletes. Yeah. Women don't mind men who like talking about sports, though. Uh, At least not to you. It'll set you ahead. If someone talked to you about sports, you wouldn't like it very much. It just depends who it is. Where do you Mm. stand on climate change? Where do I stand on climate change? <laughs> is is, is this that a, a question passion? on there? Is that a passion, of, passion, passion of mine? No, no. I don't think he's passionate unfortunately, about that. Unfortunately for the climate changers out there. Oh, no. You can only click five. Okay. We have to be more selective. Yeah. Wow, well, you you s- can, the, there's a couple that overlap there. So gym and home gym or home the workout. Home, okay, yeah. We'll, we can we'll just get do rid of gym. That. Home workout sounds like P90X. Yeah, so we can get Okay, so that. we obviously have NFTs. Is there anime? That's, that's NFTs is not I think an- if there's anime, we should click that. Definitely that, should. We got to click memes. Because then you'll get a big titty anime girl. Wow. We definitely need wow. a big titty anime girl. Uh, I'm not <laughs> seeing <laughs> anime. To me. Yeah. <laughs> Cosplay, cosplay. No, no. Maybe he doesn't like cosplay though. No. Content creation will get you yeah. the OnlyFans girl. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I think that's that's probably where we're gonna land, right? <laughs> Is that where we're gonna land? There's no anime. There's no anime. Manga. Wow. Wow. Do manga. <laughs> You're having too much fun with this. <laughs> with this one. Um. Yeah, I, I think we're good on that, right? Okay. Like, good job. So those are our five. Gym, social media, NFTs, memes, NFTs. And, NFTs. and content creation. NFTs. I mean, I got to tell you, man, there's like a hundred things to choose from here and I can't five five better that describe you. Wow. All I right. mean, I'm not much in the NFT streets anymore. Yeah, not really. You sort of did that. All right. Yeah, I did that for him. Yeah. What, what would you like instead? I'm, I'm cool with it. No, no, no. Um, well, what else is there? Let's put manga. <laughs> no one knows what manga <laughs> <Yeah>. is. <laughs> Enough. It's like it's, books, anime books. Is it really? Yeah. Ma- manga is just like the literary version of anime. Yeah. Okay, okay. that's yeah, close that enough. Yeah. I don't read because it. You will yeah, find but there's no a, anime. We want you to find a big titty anime girl, <sighs> this, and that's what you they guys would are pick. customizing. <laughs> but you like big titty anime girls. What are you talking? <laughs> They're all, <laughs> all over your timeline. Yeah, you I did not ask for any of this. You're getting targeted as <laughs> I'm getting a tar- big titty anime I'm girl. I'm getting so targeted. Clearly, I don't know how I feel about it. The algorithm knows you better than you know yourself. Is that true? Yeah. I'm terrified of myself. <laughs> All right. Just a hentai Let's heathen. Let's continue. Enough. <laughs> Definitely not. The, put in his profile, the hentai Stop. heathen. <laughs> You're having too much fun at my expense. I don't like all right, it. All right, all right. We're going to allow... We're supposed to be friends. All right. We're supposed, oh, oh, no right. hentai heathen. Wait, okay. where's that? Wait, we don't get to put his bio? Oh, yeah. We got to we gotta edit this bio. And also, like, sure. what are what age range? Okay, wow, we got, so... We got a lot of stuff to do Here's here. what we're working with picture-wise. Wow. 
Good looking bastard. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. We can add more too. Okay. You had more pictures? There's enough pictures on there, Look man. Look at that. Oh, there we Looks go. Good. That's, that's okay, what we're yeah, we want to go down. Okay, we got to go with the about. What about? about? Um, wow. It, this... So, so okay, is it good? You would know this. Is it good to put that you are a poker player or no? No. Right. But that's what I've heard. It's very important to put that you're tall when you're tall. Yeah, you should put, what are you, 6'5? Yeah. Yeah, so put 6'5. Six, so 6'6 six, six yeah. on so Tinder. Definitely put 6'6. Six, six. Yeah, 6'6. <laughs> six six. Do you really even have to go taller than 6'5? Yeah, it doesn't hurt. Honestly, for his age, though, professional poker player may be okay. I, I mean, you would know more than me what. 20 something actually maybe you wouldn't no i don't no maybe i, don't I know. know more than you, you in 20 something my dating is older than that it's all 30 plus i can't stand guys in their 20s uh no offense um this is what we count on <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly uh yeah definitely want to start with the height six you foot five former Long floridian legolas Hentai heathen. <laughs> You're having too much fun. You know what? I don't mind this because this kind of seems like a tutorial for others out there. Yeah, you know? it's going to help like, someone out there. Yeah, if this, so. helps, if this even helps one person <laughs> and it's not so even it's me. It's all service based. So it's yeah. all, yeah, yeah, all yeah. about It's all for the greater good. It's all yeah. for so the greater good. So six foot five, former Floridian. I think former that's a good. Floridian. No, no, no. It's a good no, icebreaker. No, Florida no, man. No, no Florida <laughs> man. Don't Florida mention man. that. We don't need anyone to know that. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. there's a spot for your zodiac sign. Oh yeah. Wow. That'll get maybe that's why I'm not matching as much. I don't have that filled out. That sounds like a problem. Yeah. Get that you on sound there. sound like you're missing out. I don't know though. Aquarius men, red flag. I remember talking to someone I remember Jesus talking to someone Christ. I was talking to someone at the party and they were like, Yeah. I told said person that we were gonna have a conversation. What's your zodiac sign? And I go, Aries, and she goes, Ooh. Yeah, that's my reaction. I just got the instant, Aries. And I was like, Yeah, well, because well, I'm a Libra and Aries is opposite of me. So, so we guys, should be like enemies. Yeah, well, we're just Frenemies. opposite polarities. Mm. Aries are so aggro. Oh my God, shut Libras the fuck are so peacemaker. Up. You're a peacemaker? <laughs> yeah. You're a peace, you're a peacemaker? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. You're a peacemaker and I'm aggro? Well, we're, we balance the polarities. You I feel know? like you're I, aggro. It's I like the yin and yang. Like I have a bit of aggro in my peacemaker, and you have a bit of peacemaker in your. But we are kind of opposite in that sense, yeah. But I that's because I'm, I'm Capricorn way more moon peacemaker than moon. aggro. I can't breathe with nonsense. My my ex DM me today. She was gonna like come out to uh, have a lake day with us. Yeah, my nephew's in town, and then she just me messaged me today. She goes, uh. There, there's too much auspicious energy in the air. I, I can't, I can't possibly travel there during is this. A lot. I'm like, first of all, there that's not what auspicious, auspicious means. Energy. I was like, first of all, what does auspicious even mean? It means successful. Oh, really? <laughs> does <laughs> it? Ominous? Like, maybe she meant. Maybe or in us inauspicious like in, inconspicuous uh, inauspicious could like potentially fit but it's just like all right you're just sounding trying woo -woo to relate to you though she is yeah. trying to relate with you with big words yeah no you she's trying like to sound woo woo words. on purpose and she did a great job of auspicious, it. auspicious conducive to success slash favorable so that's so right. like you should have gone like if there was auspicious yeah so that was what i replied i was like do you mean what you think you mean? And she's like, no, I don't <laughs> no. think that's what i thought that word meant <laughs> yeah, 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 what is this? it sounds like what she means it's like no a, it doesn't no? it doesn't okay. at all but what? it does sound super woo woo is the point what's it's like the, uh, what's it's the like, thing stop where... putting words before the before quote unquote energy, energy. what's the movie you're like seeing or is like this this word i do not think it means what you think it means uh prince or jesus i almost said princess diaries mm. uh the princess bride it's one of the best movies yeah, it's of like all this time. word i do not this means this you does keep not mean using what that you word think i don't think it means what you think it means yeah that yeah because <laughs> he so keeps saying he keeps is, saying uh, okay what is the downside of adding professional poker player to your profile and what is upside uh the downside to me seems douchey okay yeah it seems like a kind of like the upside I this. means and maybe this is also a downside, but it seems like you're leading with money, yeah. which I think is a bad. Yeah, I think that trait. that can put a target on your back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I also just think don't think it's good in general in dating environments to lead with materialistic things. Yeah, and yeah. as we've and learned, also I'm because very, poker players are cheaters. So. I'm very sure. targetable. Remember, we were talking about canning out money to people. Yeah, I'm very. Yeah, tar I'm very targetable. I think the whole point is like you want to demonstrate value. So should we write poor personal. guy? I don't think so. Bro, I don't think that, that helps that either. That probably doesn't help, especially when you're 22, All 23. Right, yeah. And also not that. <laughs> and also not so, that. So, yeah, but 
you know, it means they're really going for your personality. Mm. We're, we're really leaning heavily on you here for the about. Yeah, Landon. what do you want? No, no, I mean no, you. Oh, me. you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She's calling me. She's As calling a me. Heathen. Yeah, she's calling me some. some I don't <laughs> know if I like this. Legless hentai heathen. You're, you're going hard right now. There. Yeah. Um, I think we should definitely lead with height. So we have that in there, right? Good job. We did that. That's yeah. all we have. <laughs> that's all we have. That's yeah, literally that's all we have. Right I mean, now. Honestly, as we, we just leave it probably, at that. Just six five. It would yeah. probably work if you just put that. Oh, you have to put your Instagram. Shoe handle. size? What's your shoe size? Shoe size? No way. No Sh way. Manscaped and a size fourteen shoe. You're you're the worst person for this job. <laughs> <laughs> You're worse than a dude because I'm you don't have the filter. Horny, yeah. Like I know not to put horny things and yeah. you don't have that filter. No. You're just like, no, lead with all the horny things. Lead Eggplant with, emoji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, acceptance just, is a powerful thing. I mean, put it all out there. Um, sounds like too much though. Maybe a little too much, yeah. Gotta have the IG in there. So yes. we have the height and the IG and we have five hundred characters left. <laughs> okay, so I mean, what do you have on yours? Uh, I've never drank or done a drug. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I have. Actually, look, I, I don't. I don't want to try to remember. Let's use it's it, probably been some reference material. Let's see, yeah, let's see a reference. Okay. I'm think, trying to think of what like guys I have sw swiped on. Usually, it just is like. British. Ooh, we got it. We got a <laughs> message from Princess. Oh God. What is it? Wow. Who is she? Strong. Who is Princess? I don't know. This isn't about you, you right yeah. now. We're out. We're out on Princess. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know about that. Okay, let's see. My profile says six foot, retired collegiate athlete. Wow. I travel a fair amount, but I left my heart in Pittsburgh. Okay, that's, that's pretty it. good. Wholesome. Retired college athlete. Wholesome. Strong. Yeah. Strong man. Yeah. Uh, Let them know I got stamina, you know? Mm. Yeah, I would maybe maybe write six six foot six active. Active, large feet. <laughs> that good? No, no, that's terrible. <laughs> that, that good? That, that is right? so good with everyone. Bad. <laughs> so bad. Honestly, Landon, let's go, man. Sell yourself here. What do you want? I'm not. I'm gonna sell you, my. Okay, so like, from what, the heart. what do you want to convey? Should we write anime lover? Like loves anime, big titty goth girls. <laughs> I don't know. That seems like a bit much. Too Just much? here for the memes. I am here for the memes. That could be good. Anime lover just here for the memes. <laughs> why don't, do you have to add don't the, write anime lover. Yeah, why does <laughs> the anime part have to be there, man? Because you love it. That's just, <laughs> you live for it. You live for it. I don't. <laughs> right. Titty lover. Anime watcher. Anime watcher. <laughs> anime watcher. I don't like adding the poker player part. No poker? I well, feel like... What do you want to put as your occupation? Is that, a, is that a section? All right. Just here for the memes. Yeah, that's, yeah. I think that's fine. Keep it short and sweet. Okay. Passions, we already accomplished. Zodiac sign. Aries. Where is he? Aries. Do you have pets? Technically, you have dogs. I don't have pets. They're in Florida. They're, they're... No. You, yeah, have my, you, have... you have my pets. It's yeah, fine. And mine. Wow. I mean, we're non -smoker. just plagiarizing pets here. Job title. Are we putting poker? Yeah, we probably should, right? What does that say? You want to be CEO of Sulphur Wire or just a co-owner? I don't... We'll, we'll give you CEO. But this is definitely leading with money. He's 23 and a CEO? Yeah, well, whatever. Not that far <laughs> the game is the he game. He just wants to advertise. Game, game He's trying the... to advertise Sulfur Y. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. his I'm one gonna, goal. I'm just a Sulfur Y plug. Yeah. Yeah. Professional you go to school? fighter. Florida State. Florida State for two years, and then I left. Two years isn't important. Okay, so put Harvard. No. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> go. All right. Okay. Nice. Wait, okay. what are what are what's our age range? <clears throat> uh, 40, well, 45 well, to 55. LLC in there too. <laughs> okay, here we go. LLC distance distance there. preference. We he can't drive, so we got to keep it short. <laughs> yeah, so like five miles. I do got to get only a car show people in this drive. range. Right now it's eighteen to thirty-three. Uh, knowing Landon the way I know him, I think we Don't should bump up the upper bump end. Up, yeah, yeah Don't probably like what forty-two. Fifty. I'm getting bullied. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, so 42. Uh, Big mommy milkers. 18 is probably too young, right? Like 18 is too young, yeah. 36, you think? 36 to 45-ish. What are you, can you stop getting harassed? <laughs> All right, we'll go 21 to 42. You guys are Yeah, that's crazy. good. Real wide range. 21 to 42. I got to tell you, I've seen the 40-year-olds on here. We can go down. Yeah. Oh, go down? Yeah, Vegas. Uh, imagine it's a bunch of sun. a bunch of retired strippers yeah, in their forties. The Just not really cut it. We'll give them thirty five. Okay. Eh, maybe thirty. Mine's to thirty eight. Show people only in this range. No global. Global. That seems Recent, like a. Oh come on! We're not uh, paying. No, no pay. We're not fucking paying. No pay. pay. <laughs> okay. CEO at some point. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Bro. <laughs> very, very well-to-do young Whoa, man. Wow. wow. They're going to okay. be like, so what's it like being a CEO? Like, well, I don't well really you know, I just have day-to-day -day responsibilities. Well, no big yeah, deal. Yeah. I don't really do much. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think, I think that's it. It's time to start swiping. Is that it? All right. That's it. Wow. Exciting. Okay. Oh. Edel to me. Edel me. Wow. Edel me. What's... If you're not going to add me, send a pic of you, not your dick. Wow. Or I probably won't respond. Oh, my God. Okay. okay. Aggressive. So, I'm a fan. not super approachable. What do we not think? She's cute. I'm going to say that about everyone, though. Berkey will show me, like, oh, look how gross this is. I'm like, she's cute. cute. Yeah, what, cute. what do you... I mean, my opinion doesn't matter. This is your up to you. What do you... Matter. Do you this like... Is, what, is, this is your, that an anime in the background into, right there? Yeah. Is that anime? Oh, wow, it is. Okay, swipe right. Is it? It probably is. We're in. Sure. That looks good. She looks like she would send your mashed potatoes back for you. She looks like she would break you in half. That's good. That's... I definitely am not going to be the one. Do you to think send that back... you like a more dominant woman? I don't know what I think. Well, well it's time to find just out, for, young man. From your gut reaction, do you think you like would like a more dominant woman or a more submissive lady? Are you a more dominant woman? What would you consider <laughs> yourself? I need a, I need a gauge. You know, I would be probably. Well, it's it depends. I'm dominant with with in my casual relationships, but I think if I'm with the right person, I am swapped to more submissive. Wow. So that's like, what that's, she's looking for. That's a daddy. Yep. Oh god, that word makes me fucking cringe. Why? <laughs> it makes me cringe so hard. I don't get it. What's the appeal? What what What's, is the what is I the don't appeal? Know. I don't sexualizing about, I don't your think father. About, yeah, why is that I don't think about my dad when I say it. I never uh, call obviously, him daddy. I would hope not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, Christ. That's a good point. Why is it's this? It's because it's like you are. It's like that is you being submissive. I You're being get taken it, care I guess. of. I guess. Right? I guess. Okay. I don't know. Every time well, I hear a, power, a girl say you're it, you're like, like in, inserting a power structure into it. It's uh, maybe he's thinking too much. A lot of much. guys like it. Yeah, but a lot of guys want to be more alpha than they really are. Yeah, like they they want that cue. Huh. to like be dominant yeah i guess that's yeah that's fair it doesn't do it for me it makes me kind of like it kind of scares you like to be submissive it you, no not at all it makes you no. realize how old you are no it's not an age thing <laughs> what about father no jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> yes father <laughs> i love like that i love that for you i love that for you whatever i'll call him whatever he wants no <laughs> i mean honestly i think what it is is that like especially with that tone of like daddy, daddy. i associate it with like the sugar baby culture oh interesting Matt just wants to what be about like, like during sex. No, I've I haven't had that experience what? and I don't want it. He just okay. wants to be called like Megatron. <laughs> yes. 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 yes, Megatron. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now we're talking. All right. Yeah. All right. I gotta tell you, the algorithm is giving you some girls with thick ass thighs. Yeah, they're let's, hot. Let's, let's go. All what right. do we think of Belle? We got a big girl. She's into anime for sure. These are he's, he. I think they heard us saying "big titty goth girls." Yeah. I think they I mean, heard you say that. He's yeah. pretty much getting big titty goth like girls big for titty sure. Goth girls, right? Can you see a nipple? I feel there? like I'm getting interrogated. I think you can see a shadow you, of a nipple. Do you or do you not <laughs> like big titty goth girls? You're scaring me. I mean, this is the time to say <laughs> yes or no. Like, yeah, we're, we're yes kind of no. scary. We're here. We'll swipe left if we don't. If you don't like them, she's. There's a video. She, no, I don't. She's giving me a weird vibe. I think we should swipe left. No offense. If I mean, watching. I think she is all types of the right crazy for Landon, but I'm afraid crazy. he'd fall in love I'm with her. I'm a little scared. I'm he'd fall in love with her and then we'd have to get rid of She's her. It'd be like yeah. on us. She's scaring me. <laughs> it would be, okay. It would be your responsibility. Yeah. He's, he's I'm had, out on Bell. His little head's going to get crushed. Yeah. It's not his head we have to worry about. thunder thighs. Autumn seems sweet. 
The purpose Let's... of life is to live it, to taste experience to the utmost, Aww. to reach out eagerly and without fear for newer and yes. richer experiences. The, the rule of thirds isn't applying here, though, you know? You, you like, want to see the lower third? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. It's like when you have your face like halfway on the picture, it should be like in the top two oh, thirds. Oh, come on. You're going to be a Wait, photography is, critic. Oh, you're to saying there's, there's too much space there's above her? her? Exactly. In her photo, there's too much space yeah, above just her just means head. she's a short girl. <laughs> exactly. She she's looks pretty. half Asian. She's half Asian. No way. Yeah. No, she's Latina. No, she's half Asian. She's for sure Latina. I think she's we should make Asian. a bet. All right, make a bet. Swipe bet. right, and then if we match, <laughs> we'll right. ask Swipe. her. We're going to try to match with Autumn. We're going to we'll find out. We'll ask her. She's, ooh, Mercedes! Yes, I like her. I love a little blonde. Does this remind you of yourself a little bit? Mercedes? No, mm. she's like a blonde white girl. That's not me, but she's cute. This reminds yes. me of your friends. Yeah. That's yeah. true. You are friends with a lot of girls that look like this. The uh, the, the girls from oh, LA. Oh, she is hot, right? Hot I can't really LA see. Oh, she's from away. Nebraska. Wow. Okay. Wow. Landon's in. Sure. Yeah. No, uh, I can see that grid. Yeah, he you is like in. it. Yeah, he's in. Yeah. <laughs> he is in. Right, the next episode like, right. of the Tinder Diaries will be yes, us responding to Landon's wow. messages. What is this could be a whole head? series, man. Yeah. It has to be. You can get a whole series going. Another big titty off girl. Is she doing cosplay or what's that? She's working on herself. She's a brat. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't. She Stop seems like texting. a life ruiner. Wow, she left her Twitter in there. That's that's very boomerish. It's bold, is it? It makes me think that she's an OnlyFans girl. Yeah. Let's let's check out this Twitter. Oh, Matt's gonna Matt's gonna do oh. some investigative journalism. Well, right her, now. Is that a tweet from her? It seems as though it might. There's a meme. No, nope, someone. Did else. she ratio someone? Her name's Cole. Her name is Cole. Okay. Could be a dude. All right. We should try to get him catfish. That would be a good. <laughs> It would be good for good content. Start. Her her Twitter name is just a hoe. I'm I'm betting my so read of her. I... Oh, look at Berkey. He wow. knows. He what? knows oh, this shit. He knows this shit. I'm afraid to scroll because there's a good chance yeah, we'll just see her well, titties got, and we can't be putting that. Titty dropping currently. <laughs> Cole's All world. All right. So we're going to swipe left. I don't want that for You don't Landon. want an OnlyFans girl for Lando? No. I mean, you know, there's some OnlyFans girls who are great i'm sure but Man, that one seems like she'll ruin its life i am i am just the goddamn sleuth for t tinder i know what's going on jordan here. all right what do jordan. we know about jordan what do we know okay she got a titty tat yeah all right there's a meme that's like if your girl has a tattoo here she'll hit you <laughs> <laughs> i don't like her dog what <laughs> <laughs> okay no no Melissa's out. I'm I, out. Her dog's too foo foo. I'm out on this one. Look at he's in a fucking swing set. Yeah, but Landon's mom has foo foo. Oh, dogs. she's also 600 miles away. You're out. Yeah. You're out, Jordan. You're out. Sorry, Jordan. Sorry. Not Distance. interested. Yeah. Not interested. Yeah. yeah. No. Jada. But, 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 oh. Welcome to I the stage. You know what's happening right now? Matt's like living his MC dreams right now I through know. this Tinder. J Welcome he's like, Jada. Like, everyone to put the your hands together. <laughs> Everybody, big round of applause coming to the main stage, Jada. It's strippers, just some of them. Wow, Matt, you, you might have a future in this. Hey, I'm Jada. I'm just here <laughs> looking for a vibe. vibe. Wait, read her thing. Hey, I'm Jada. <laughs> I'm just here looking for a vibe. Oh, it actually says that? I yeah. love to cook. I don't use periods. I love to work out and meet new periods. people. I love singing in the shower. LOL, but add me on Snap. Wow, no. Matt. Good no. job. That was great. I don't think that they would have much to converse about. I don't think they'd be doing any talking. No. That's no. for sure. Well, oh my gosh. She looks like. Uh, oh, that's a good song. This song is way too old, but I rock roughs and tough with my Afro puffs. Rage. Oh, <laughs> All right. What's going on right Boomer. now? Boomer. Boomer, Boomer alert. alert. Boomer alert. Look, it was big in I the 90s. I don't see this girl with Landon. Yeah, she's out. Brazil. That's a country. Hey, I need a friend. I uh -oh. want to start she's YouTube. A bot. Stay she's tuned. A bot. She's, she's definitely a bot. bot. She's definitely a bot. Bot. Definitely bot. bot. You're out. There's Sorry. an Instagram though. Oh. There was an Instagram. Mom. Oh. Landon mom? likes the moms. Yeah, Landon loves Kind of reminds him of his mom a little bit, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on right now? So, uh, according to Berkey, I'm sexually into my dad and you're sexually into yeah. your mom. He's 100% into his mom. <laughs> What do you know <laughs> this? Uh, no, I cannot confirm or No girl will ever this. compete. She's out. Yeah, she's out. She's Although out. she did go to Florida. Ooh, Fang. Fong. I've seen Fang before. You have? I'm not going to lie. She's definitely What's a bot. What's your read on her? She's a bot? She's for sure All a bot. Right. She bot. definitely wow. does OnlyFans. She might get us demonetized with those We've, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. 
Yikes. Yeah, we've yeah, swiped left on her quite Lives a bit. in London. Quite a bit. She just keeps popping up. Keep swiping left. Keep popping She's up. She's a bot, I don't get yeah. It. I don't Ooh, get I like it. her. Okay. Just here to hook up. Is that because of the Maybe more. Yeah, uh, I like her. She's, she looks... I like her vibe. Is she a modern woman or is she a bot? We're not sure. We're not oh, no. sure. I feel like it leans more towards bot these days. No, I can see no. Landon with I a nice... I think this girl is legit. A nice ginger gal. Ooh. You guys could have ginger babies. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this girl's not a bot. I'm no not no bot her. has corn like tattooed this? on her lip. Yeah. <laughs> You're not into it? I don't <laughs> no. think he likes her. <laughs> Tough sell. I mean, I'm personally out on Jean, but she I might mean, be more your cup of tea. <laughs> don't Melissa definitely would fuck her, that's like for sure. Jeannie Do not whatever. deflect onto me right like now. Like Jeannie. I'm not deflecting like anything. Her? I'm out. <laughs> Melissa's clearly in. I no, you went the I'm in. out, but for you, maybe. Well, because Melissa clearly yeah, wants to bone out, this but girl. I'm, no, I don't want to bone her. I just could see Landon boning her. <laughs> you can see a lot of things, I'm sure. Yeah. You see a lot of things. Where, where do you where do you land on Jean? I think she's out for this one. All right. All right. We're out All on right. Jean. Yeah. GG. Raina. Raina. Okay. LA girl in town. Let's have some coffee. Okay. Probably from the valley. All right. Coffee. Nice hair. Nose ring's cute. Yeah. Okay. Like her outfit. Okay. Cute. That's it. All Personal right. trainer at self employed. Ooh, uh, okay. Wow. She's an active girl. She's 1,500 miles away. Why is she 1,500 miles away? She's from LA. Because she's and here now. And I also now. said only show me because, girls that are 15 miles away. I think it's because she's here now, so she's in the area. No, it would say. Oh, never yeah, mind it then. would you're, show you're her distance. On the, I'm I don't not get up it. on these things. I said no. show me girls 15 miles away. Personal trainer. That seems Definitely good. Not. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a flyer on Raina. Yeah, why not? A flyer? Ooh, I'm Rachel. a fan. Wait, of I'm looking for someone to give the partner code of my vibrator to. Wow. <laughs> wow. I was like, I'm a fan of Rachel before I read and realized wow. that she was a bot. Wow. That's Jeez. a bot? Has to be. Has to be. I don't be. know. That Is this seem... not modern woman vibes enough for it you, Matt? It doesn't seem very bot like. Well, I don't of know. That might be Lake Mead. That actually could be Lake Mead. She's cute. She's super hot. Yes. Work it. Look at that body. She looks great. Melissa's a fan. <laughs> Landon is I'm just speechless. gassing all the girls up. I'm not sexually attracted to them. I'm just Okay, like, this yes, is definitely in Vegas. Great. This is 100% in Vegas. Yeah. Look at her butt. Wow. I'm not a bot. Um, can you handle the uh, partner code to her, to her vibrator? It's a lot. It sounds like a lot of work, man. No. Well, it actually press... sounds like she's alleviating you yeah, of all the you work. you just press some buttons on, a, on your yeah. phone. Beep, 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 beep. Wow. You know, think, this... Yeah, we're yeah, going to swipe yeah. right. I mean... If for no other reason. Yeah. I want to see if, if she's for real. no other reason. Sam. Let's see what Sam has to say. Just has her oh, IG. She's a Virgo? Virgo. Okay. I don't know signs. Don't know what that means. It, Landon has a lot of Virgo friends. Okay. So this could be good. She's flipping Working you off. out and reading. Mm, okay. She reads. Big Dodgers fan. Oh, Scorpio. Not Loves her. to give the half peace sign. What's, oh, that's the middle sign. finger. What, it means hello, Melissa. Yes, it oh, does. Yeah, it yeah. means hello. hello. Yeah, go to How do you have five and pictures and four of them you're flipping off the camera? Yeah, that's like, I think we have to do, go left just based on that. Off of principle? Yeah. Uh, she was good yeah. Principle. Very classy in a dress, though. Very classy in a dress. Until, yeah, but then she's flipping you off. Very classy, very sassy, Maybe she, flipping she you off. She might be mean to Don't him. worry, there's one more just in case. Oh, good. Two more. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yep. All right, so we're in? Um, I don't know. She's she's scaring us. I think he's gonna be scared of her. I'm scared. All right, you're a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Taylan, rugby player. Rugby player. Okay. Is she in the right. Please be player? taller than me. She might be six two, my friend. Whoa. She might be. Wow. What are we looking at do here? Want, do you like a tall woman? Sure. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. All right. She's she's not short. Craving attention and affection. Uh, is she straight? I don't know. <laughs> Her song is Woman. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you got the right setting on, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about Kristen? I'm shy at first, but once I open up, I'm funny, outgoing, adventurous, and love trying new things. Oh. I go to school full time. Love guys who are also fun, caring, smart, oh. have a nice body, are tall, or cute butt for a guy. Wow. Oh, that's just bonus points. Sorry. I feel like all of these, like, paragraph bios are not the way. It seems I like mean, a lot, you know? It depends. Are you looking for somebody who's uh, anxious or somebody who's secure? I'm very anxious. 
So yeah, is she. We, I can promise said, you that. We gave him the quiz, and he was. You were I can promise you that Kristen, Kristen is also very anxious. You I don't know have, how does that work together. You, you're the attachment expert. Oh, uh, it would be a total bad codependency. Oh, okay, yeah. so maybe not that. Yeah, yeah, we're out on that. All right. What about Kelsey? Well, Let's be friends cute. with benefits, but the benefit is that we're dating and oh, madly love in love. Wow. Oh my god, I love, I love that. that for you. And I she love likes that. I love that for you. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, she's cool. Wow, oh, she's yo. Look at that back, Russell. Look at that back. Wow. Oh, she did more look than you, that. sir. Yeah, look at those hamstrings. She's crushing it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think about Kelsey? We gotta swipe right on her. Strong. Is that a yes? Sure. Okay, Landon's in. You can crush watermelons with those thighs. Wow. <laughs> Seely does not have a profile. She lives in Albuquerque, but is five miles away. So you can get rid of her afterwards if you like. Oh, it's a nice smile for me. She likes the smile, Landon. What do you think? Little nose uh, ring action. Do you like? Do you like a, a like emo type, or no? Tough, tough sell. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So more clean cut, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Right. <laughs> maybe. Maybe mm. more clean. Cut All right. Though. We're out on C uh, Seely. I apologize. Young Landon's not ready for you. Coco, Coco though. Yeah, she's cute. Let's go collect rocks that match each other's eye color. Oh, uh, that sounds like a lot of work. I like Taylor Swift it's, and everything smoking weed. Everything sounds like too much work. <laughs> no, but going and finding rocks? I feel like liking Taylor Swift and smoking weed is a bit of a, a Oxymoron. conflict. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see. She looks like she belongs in New York City or L.A. She's very L.A. Yes, chic. She's LA, chic. LA very L.A. chic. L.A. esque, if you will. Very fashion. Very fashion-driven. So she vlogs? Uh, I don't think she's real. These three pictures would indicate she is not yeah. real. Yeah. Yeah, oh, she has three pictures all from the same day. It's yeah. sort of... Yeah, we're out. Yeah. We don't believe you. Sorry. Motto, it's either a good idea or a good story. Sucker for breakfast, cheap wine, and cheesy humor. Hmm. Hmm. What do we think about Quinn? <laughs> I don't think that's his type. I don't think she shaves her armpits. How do you feel about uh, that? Are you in on the granola? No, I don't think he's in. Do you like granola women? No. no. Yeah, no. You go camping. All right. No. Yeah, I'd have to Lee leave Landon my house. doesn't go camping. Wow. What about Emily spelled in the most complicated <laughs> way imaginable? <laughs> 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 um, actually, Slut it's E-M-I-L-E-I-G-H. Slut sun, whore moon, bitch rising. Wow. <laughs> Slut this is, sun, this whore is moon, like, bitch rising. This sounds like your girl, strong. Melissa. No. Really strong. This I'm definitely scared. sounds like she's up your alley. <laughs> I'm scared. I, I'm terrified. Yeah, we're, she's we're a hot dog. I'm collectively scared. I'm terrified. She's a hot dog. <laughs> she's three miles away. I'm absolutely terrified. I mean, she likes Mac Miller. Bonus points for that. Guess. Bonus points in that book. No, he, he's out. I can't believe we haven't found a porn star yet. No profile. Okay. Bad start. Bad start. You got to start. start. This is, I'm going to teach you I how to find have bots. A, I didn't have, when I was on Tinder, I don't think I had a profile. Okay. She's not a bot, but she also only has two pictures. So we're out. Probably a bot. Ooh. Audrey. Okay. So far, so good. No profile. Fine. A lot of booty. Where's her face? Where's her face? Okay. She's oh, pretty. Oh, she is pretty. She's pretty. Yes. We definitely should have set the age lower. No way, twenty-eight year olds going for Landon. They might. Yeah, I think. I think his. Bio, I think right? his uh, natural range is like twenty-one to twenty-three, and then like thirty-three to forty. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Everything in between, like, send them my way. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Matt, if you need to use someone to as a feeder for your future, yeah, we're gonna use you as bait. I'm gonna say yes to Audrey, and you can just send her my <laughs> that's way. That's bait. Big fan of Audrey. That's wow. Oh, Malaya, wow. Malia. Mal Malaya. Malaya. More, more Berkey Flight bait. attendant. Flight attendant. Let's, let's look at these Instagram pictures. Ooh. What is going on here? We're going to see now. He's demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Some things are worth more than money, apparently. Yeah. Oh. Oopsie. Okay. Whoops. Oh, wait. Yeah, we want the full shot. What <laughs> oh, God. She's pretty. She's cute. Yeah. She looks super young. Yeah. Well, well she actually 22. is a flight attendant. Okay. 22. She's legit. Oh. Sky West Airlines. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. But she's, 
Ooh. All right. Wow. Real risk taker, Landon. Yes. Much like yourself, who's a professional poker it's player. It's Skydive Chicago. Yeah. What about it? She flies all over the world. Yeah. She probably skydives wherever the hell she wants. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty Plus, cool. Plus, look at that. Look at them hams. Hamstrings? Yeah. <laughs> hamstrings. Hamstrings. We always got to look for the hamstrings. Hamstrings only. Well, that's how you know if the booty's natural. Where, where are we at on this one? I think she's hot. Oh God, yeah, Melissa's in. in. We're okay, in. Yeah. This is once again. This is Matt. This is Matt Berkey <laughs> bait. Is what this is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I land is not gonna like this girl. Brazilian chick who is bi. She's gonna be a lot for you to handle. But yeah, a lot. Too, this might be good. Too much, too much probably. Too much. Yeah, could be much. a good too thing. Too much woman. You can you can see her booty starting to poke through <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. the image here. That's that's a good start. Wow. Oh. Wow. I'm gonna demonetize now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're probably demonetized. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we're gonna lose the twenty cents. I, I think this is just I making me feel like my shit is has been way too conservative. Way too conservative. I think <laughs> we're gonna lose our twenty cents on this episode. I've got my face. Uh, got this woman's going to break you. Yeah, no, she'll. I already feel scary. broken. Yeah. <laughs> are, are we in or out? I think we're out. I'll probably die. Which All is right, fine. let's let's end on Brenna. She looks pretty. If we match, you make the move. Okay. She, European girl. European. I could see Landon with a nice European okay. lady. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to settle down oh, at 21. That's interesting. Little, okay. So a little that's aggressive, a, but that's okay. That is really aggressive. Looks Maybe like feel her, it out a little bit. I don't know. Her place, her bedding is very nice. It looks like she takes care of her That is surroundings. really aggressive, though. Okay. She's social a dog. Smoker. She's a social smoker. Interesting. Negative points for that. Plus points for that booty, though. Yeah, That's back wow. in. He's just back in. I'm back in. He's yeah. back in. Just when she's they thought he was out. Forget she's smoking. in nature. Just, just when he thought he was out, they pull him back in. Yeah, just <laughs> bring me right back in. Do we think she's a bot? <laughs> um, there's a Ready greater to than, settle down. Definitely a greater than zero percent chance. Like yeah. these these images look very. Stock. You guys have a lot of bots. Oh, a lot of bots no out idea. there. You have no. If we but swipe these right, these girls are hot. I don't know why you complain. They're well, because hot they're girls. fake. And they they never match with you. It's, oh. You okay. match with like one in a hundred girls. Interesting. Like I don't think we'll have any matches off yeah. of this. Yeah, we're being picky too. Okay, let's end on Lana because she's real, but she's only here for a week. Oh, wait, wow. maybe she's not even here anymore. What's well, she might just she's be gone. That was a joke. Ten yeah. twelve. She's not even here anymore. Oh. Wow. Oh, well, but she is here. Oh, she, is she? No, nah, what this usually means is that like she's just not on Tinder. Mm. Like, she just hasn't opened the app. She's uh, hot, though. That's in. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get past Lena. Go to the next one. All right, let's end here. Lash tech, vet assistant, wow. Insta is glow mic mimic. 5'9", if it blows your mind, I'm tall, then keep it pushing. Keep it pushing, Keep baby. Keep it pushing. Wow. Keep it pushing. What oh. do we got? All right. She's a big fan of showing off the boobs. She's got the boobs. Mm. Oh. She got the tongue ring and the nose ring. Wow. The, uh, what's the a, old... what's a, what does it mean when a girl has a tongue ring as someone know. with one? I, I, you have one. I didn't think it was cool to have a tongue ring for like 15 years. Like mm. I thought that was popular when I was in high school. I don't know. I've never, I've never really had an opinion on it. I like it. How long have you had well, tongue ring? For? I would hope so. It's yours. Um, I've had it for like three or four years. Okay, this is the one we're gonna end on. Wow, Matt! Look, Matt! Matt you should see how happy. Look, can we go to Matt? Can we go to Matt's smile Reagan. right now? Matt's just like okay. We're gonna end on Reagan. You like her? Not we're energy. Gonna, we're yeah. gonna end on her because her bio is. I'm not good at bio, so you just have to message me to know about me. Wow. I apparently give off mom energy. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yes. yeah. Right. Wow. <laughs> we got the mom energy. What is up? Okay, wow, Lando, your future mm. wife is here, no. baby. No. <laughs> Melissa's out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it. Melissa's out. I don't think out. that's Lando. I think I'll be out. out. I think I'll be all right on this one. Oh man. Okay. Sorry, Reagan. <laughs> Melissa voted. Berkey's no. in though. Matt's in. No, I was always doing it because he's into the mom <laughs> energy. Matt's in. All right. If nothing else, Matt. Landon, you've gotten a little taste of what's out there. Yeah, a lot of bots, it seems. Yeah, what's your take on What's that uh, bad? We only came across like two yeah. bots, maybe. No, what's your take on the pool? Hmm. I mean, we really deep dove. If if we? I were swiping, I would have got through 10x. That like that's number. how I go through apps. Like God I'm bless looking you. through thoroughly. 
And a lot of times, like, there's nothing wrong with them, and I'm just like, left. I think the play... They give off that auspicious energy, so... Yeah, yeah that's auspicious like, that's energy. That's successful energy. <laughs> yeah. I think the play is to keep it, and then we'll see if we get matches, but yeah. then we'll come back to it every Oh, so no, we're often. 100% keeping it. I'm going to yeah. be grinding this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> you have He's no gonna idea. He's going to be catfishing as Landon. Yeah. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> They're just going to show up I, on the first date, and he's going to... Yeah, gonna, we're just going to come back to the house and be like, oh, get ready, you're going to the strip at 8. I'm mm -hmm. like, what? I'm just gonna line them up Someone for you. Someone says like. they're rooting for the five nine black girl. Someone says Reagan should have been in bad fold. Oh, bad fold, okay, bad fold. okay. Wow. The chat has the chat has, has a their lot opinions. of opinions Next on time, this. maybe the chat should. Uh, yeah, we need to figure out a way for, for like, chat interaction for like real time. The, the problem is it's just so <laughs> slow. They say I'm mean to big girls. I'm not mean to big girls. I just know Landon's type. I yeah, think. those first two girls had thick ass thighs. We yeah. just went yes on them. Yeah. Burke is going for dates as Landon. I'm not going to catfish these girls. I'm just going to set the man up for success. Yeah. That's what friends are for. You got you to have a strong opener pre-programmed so that you don't waste your goddamn time. Mm. You'll yeah, learn. Maybe next time we can pull the chat. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. let's make this a weekly thing. Oh, I feel like the, chat, the chat might have my not my best interest in mind. They might. They might. The they, best interest for they the also podcast. Might not. The yeah. best interest for the podcast is that we just get you on dates. It doesn't matter with and who. We put a hidden yeah. camera. That's yeah, probably podcast. Just, that's we just need the report. Theory optimal, yeah. We we need the Friday report out of Landon. The like, Friday okay, so report. this week in Tinder. Wow. What had happened was. Wow. Yeah. Kind of exciting, actually. Yeah. A little scared though. You're gonna have to come up with like two or three of your go-to spots. Someone like tropical said smoothie Landon's was my a spot. monster. He can't have some five foot two, 120 pound. I mean, he could. Nothing yeah. stopping him. Landon and no, I weigh the same. No, no. Yeah, but he's so tall. Like, if he's standing next to a girl who's 5'2", like me, I think that's like, adorable. <laughs> like a child. No, I think it's adorable. Like when NBA players right. date like, <laughs> normally right. sized women. No. Yeah. I think it's cute. Yeah, Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys was one. That yeah. He literally looked like her dad and she was a toddler. Except, you know, she's voluptuous yeah. and looks nothing like a fucking right. toddler. Yeah, but height-wise, like, she was, like, up to his, like, upper thigh. What yeah. is this? Girls love that, though. Like, when NBA players date, like, short oh, girls. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think girls like that. We've seen, we, we were just talking they about this. Protected. We saw a graphic where it's, Everyone's like... Everyone's taller than me, so Regardless of how tall a girl is, the, the sweet spot for height is between, like, six foot and six five. Hmm. Like, no matter what, a girl could be, like, 4 foot 11, and, like, 95% of See, them still I'm prefer 6 foot like to 6 5. 5, 10, like, 6, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, sure. You say that you don't care. What? 5, 10 is fine. That's, I, like, tall. I'm sure you think I'm it's fine. I'm 5, 2. That's I'm 8 sure, inches taller than me. I'm sure in your mind you think it's fine, but in reality, to be 5, 10 and to pull you, you have to look like fucking Leo. No. Whatever you say, like Melissa. Leo. I'm just saying, if we went through your history and, I dated, and did, a, did a plot graph yeah. of the height of the men you dated, yeah. I would wager 5'10 and below was damn near zero. No. One, uh, I was in a long relationship with a guy who was like 5'9. Hmm. One guy. Wow. Yeah. One you guy. really wow. did it. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what she failed to tell us is that that was at 15 and he sent no, his, his uh, growth spurt. I was like 20 something, 23. And he was 15? Wow, that's Yeah, and brutal. he was 15. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> wow. Like an after to Pedo. <laughs> Pedo. Gross. <laughs> Absolutely gross. All right, this went on way longer than it should have. The bit is over for the day. The I enjoyed it. Did you yeah. have fun? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Good time. I liked I liked your introductions. You really had a blast. <laughs> I have You could so... really be MC Matt. MC yeah. Matt Berkey. Uh, MC MB. It's uh it's the it's the stripper mic guy. That's you. Talking over the pussycat dolls. Ah. Uh, Don't ya? <laughs> <laughs> you love it, man. Oh uh, man. Uh no show tomorrow. No show? I'm I'm going to live at the bike. I mean you and Melissa could do a show wow, by yourself. What are we gonna talk about? I don't know. It depends how late I play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys should do a hand history show. I don't know about that. Just hand histories. Just it's Melissa so hand history. Well, it's so boring as an audience to just listen to that. Just my Melissa hand, hand histories? histories. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to do some spicy stuff today to Maybe. give us some hand histories for tomorrow. <sighs> we'll no, figure it out. You just have to we're, tell the hand histories. Smart people. The, the descriptors alone are good enough. So fuck face raises it for oh, X. I know. <laughs> what did I say last time? Check <laughs> something. Um, 
serial killer serial killer yeah yeah serial killer murderer raises <laughs> yeah they always have some descriptor right wow we'll figure it out we'll come yeah. up with something good we'll or maybe not out. we'll see all right team let's get rapid for us today i hope you enjoyed uh a little glimpse into Landon Tice's future dating <laughs> We're life. We're all really falling off one by one here. You're leaving next. No one's going to be here. I have somewhere to be. I got money to make, man. Uh, live at the bike tomorrow. The stream begins at 4 p.m. Uh, I believe I start playing at 1, so there's a nice little cushion of a delay there. Maybe I'll hop in Discord after the game ends uh, while the live stream's going on. We could do a, like a, a watch together or something like that. I don't no, know. Conrad, don't know. you're not in COVID, Rad. <laughs> Cove Rod's out. Conrad's fucking out. Conrad is out. <laughs> I need All some right. sleep. Gotta get to the gym. All right, guys. Uh, if no show tomorrow, which we're leaning heavily that way, we'll be back Monday with an all new week of Only Friends. We might even have the whole fucking cast and crew back. We wow. might. We what just. We need to talk about man. All, where's all of our good poker news? Is gone. It's, it's fine. Come back. We just have to do a little bit more work putting a show together. It's fine. We're going to yeah. get back into high stakes. Do some deep dives. High stakes poker. Yeah. Maybe uh, I'll divulge a couple other catfish oh, are stories. Oh, are we going to talk about the ultimate bet story at some point? I remember people wanted that. Yeah. Because I still don't know about it. Someday. Uh, when Gaucho's in town. He okay. was one of the ones who actually broke it. So this I'd guy, like to who, who is this? Uh, um, David Preddies. But explain a little. Just um, I'm... I'm not sure exactly how it led to him breaking it, but basically he was like gathering the data to prove that it was a super user. Got it. Okay. Like he did a whole CNN or yep. 60 minutes uh, interview mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It was, it was Sometimes interesting down the stuff. line, but yeah. sounds good. We'll learn all about it. Yeah. I'll be back one day. I'll see you all beautiful people then. Thank you guys so much. We're out. Peace.